Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Terraria 1.4 Mobile Master Mode Let's Play. So, I started off this episode by doing some crate fishing, because we still need the enchanted sword. So let's go open the crates. Let's open the lower end crates first. We only really care about the titanium crates, but... Oh, okay, so there is a lot of things. Um... All right, so let's go open our titanium crates. Enchanted sword, come on. And... Still no enchanted sword, okay, well. Maybe next time, maybe next time. All right, so, welcome back. Um, in this episode, I wanna take it a little easier. You know, last couple episodes, we did a lot of boss fighting, so we're gonna we're gonna take it easy. And the first thing I wanna do is actually relocate our hallowed pylon because I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like the look of it or the, I don't like the look of the houses and and I don't really like the location either because we already have like a hallowed oasis and having another one just kind of seems like a little uncreative. So I wanna relocate that to around here. Let's change this crimson into a hallowed and rebuild the houses um since building is kind of boring um i'm probably just gonna do a lot of jump cuts because you don't really want to see me build <laughs> so let's go destroy these houses sorry so i'm thinking we should build like uh kind of like a castle because i don't really like the look of the pearl wood so we're not going to use as much of that but let's just get building And all right, our castle is basically finished. And now we just have to build one more house on the other side of this little area. And then we'll be done our hallowed pylon. Yay. All right, so I finished this house. It's a lot more simple than our castle, but I like it. And I gotta say, our hallowed town is looking a lot nicer. And oh, I didn't realize the rainbow bricks were red, green, and blue on the map. It's interesting. But yeah, okay, so let's put down our hallowed pylon and should work, right? There we go. Nice. Okay, so what's next? What do I want to do next? Let's see. Um, well, we defeated the three mechanical bosses last episode, which means we can start mining chlorophyte. And the reason why I want to mine Chlorophyte is because I want Turtle Armor. And the Turtle Armor can then be used to make Beetle Armor, which is what I want to use to defeat the Moon Lord, basically. So let's go to the jungle. Let's do a big Chlorophyte mining session. And I'll catch you guys when I'm finished. It's quite convenient because while we're mining for Chlorophyte, we can also collect some Life Fruits, too. And also, we still need to find the jungle temple because we haven't found it in this world yet and I'm not sure where it is. It might be somewhere around here. I don't know, I'll have to continue looking for it. But let's go continue mining some chlorophyte. Ooh, we got Medusa's magic weapon. What does it do again? Uh, I forgot, but... Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we only need five more life fruits till we're at full health. And... Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you can also see there's a plantera bulb on the right side of the screen. I've already found two. And... Oh, yeah, we also need to make a plantera arena in this episode. So... Yeah, there's a lot of things we need to do. But let's just focus on Chlorophyte and Life Fruits right now. Oh, thank you, Fairy. And this is our last Life Fruit we need. Now we can use them to have 500 health. There we go. Nice. 
All right, so we almost have 400 Chlorophyte. I'm gonna keep on mining, and then we'll make the turtle armor. All right, so I managed to get 600 Chlorophyte ore. It was getting pretty hectic around there. <laughs> All right, so let's go make our Chlorophyte bars. Let's see how many we can make. It costs six ores to make a bar, so we're gonna have around 100, which should be enough to be able to make what we want. So let's go craft it. And there we go, 100 bars. My inventory is such a mess right now, but let's go get our turtle shells. Which should be here. We have five, but we only need four. So let's go craft the turtle leggings, the turtle scale mail, and the turtle helmet. And we actually need to make another scale mail to make both variants of the beetle chest plate. So there we go. So I don't think I'll actually use the turtle armor. I'm going to continue using the hollowed armor because it's really good, but I'll put it in my vanity for now. So I actually do want to fight a boss in this episode and it might not be what you guys think it is because I want to fight the eater of worlds. Yeah, in a crimson world, that's right. In 1.4, you can actually get the alternate world evil from the Dryad. So what we need is some gravestones. So we need to make a graveyard biome. And when it's a graveyard biome, the Dryad will actually be selling the, um, the alternate world biome seeds or here, let me show you. So let's go make a graveyard biome. We need around like seven of these. So four, five, six, seven. And if we talk to the dryad, she'll be selling corrupt seeds. So basically what that means is we can have both world evils in one world now, which is a great addition because I want to do everything in one world only. All right, so we need to plant these seeds somewhere. All right, so I'm just planting my corrupt seeds around and contaminating the crimson because corruption can't spread over crimson. And that should do it. Let's just finish planting these corrupt seeds. Just put them around randomly and it should start spreading. Let's see, um, I planted some seeds over here and, oh, there we go. You can see it's starting to spread and eventually we're going to have a corruption biome and then we can start to farm out the materials for the Eater of Worlds Summoner. All right, so the next thing I want to do in this episode is to get the black spot. I know I said I didn't really need it, but I want to try out this Plantera strategy where it requires the black spot. So let's go farm out for some pirate maps and let's see if we can get it. And flying Dutchman number one, we didn't get it. Okay. Well, maybe another opportunity will arise and another one will spawn. And number two, Still nothing, okay. All right, Flying Dutchman number three. Come on. And still no black spot? Really? Ugh. All right, Dutchman number four, come on. Did it drop it? No, still? Oh my gosh. Number five, come on. And still no black spot. <laughs> oh, why is our luck so bad right now? Come on, number six. And are you serious? 
still nothing. Oh my gosh. Come on. Lucky number seven. Come on. It, it didn't drop. Are you serious? It's a one in four drop chance, right? Pretty sure it is. Wait, did it drop? Wait, is that it? Oh, it did drop. Okay. I did not expect the sprite to look like that. But yes, okay, we did finally get it. I just didn't know at first because I don't know. I'm stupid, but that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. And yeah, it is a 1 in 4 drop chance, but there we go. Look how fast it is. And infinite flight, it's going to be very useful. Alright, so let's finish this pirate invasion off and <laughs> let's get into building or destroying. Or well, we're going to be making a Plantera arena. Alright, alright. Um... A solar eclipse is happening. Okay. Okay, uh... I wasn't expecting this, but... <laughs> oh no. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I was just organizing my inventory, and then a solar eclipse just happened. Alright, well, let's do it and see what we get. Um... We can get quite a couple of things, actually. Like that, we can get a Neptune's shell, which is used towards the Celestial shell. Nice. Maybe we can get a couple of Broken Hero Swords. Another Neptune's shell. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. Is that another one? What? Our luck is fluctuating so much in this episode. Like, we had to kill, like, seven Flying Dutchmen to get its mount, and now we just have three Neptune's shell. <laughs> okay, thanks, Terraria. Hey, hey, a Moonstone. Okay, so now all we need is the Sunstone to make the Celestial Shell one of my favorite accessories in the game. Oh, there it is. Mothron, all right. So we can use a black spot to like kind of cheese Mothron, but I'm not sure if I want to do that because it is a little cheesy and the black spot did get nerfed in 1.4.1. So I'm going to try not to use the black spot too much. Okay, uh, we might need to. <laughs> Come on. Oh, she, she does not. All right. Come on. How low is she? Did we get her? Okay. Uh, did she drop anything? A broken hero sword. Nice. Okay. So, we finally have an upgrade to our cutlass. Alright, and that's the end of the solar eclipse. That was pretty successful, actually. We got three Neptune shells. And, oh, oh, the vampire's still here. Please go away. Alright. And we also got two Moonstones and a Broken Hero Sword. It's pretty good, actually. Um, I know we can do another one after we defeat Plantera, and more monsters will spawn, like the Deadly Sphere. That's pretty good. So, it's pretty successful. Let's go make the True Knight's Edge. But first... But first, let's get killed by vampires. <laughs> Alright, here's the Knight's Edge. And we need a Mithril Anvil. And there we go. True Knight's Edge. You'll love to see it. Alright, so now we can actually start building our Plantera Arena. I'm not going to show too much footage of that because I'm going to be honest, it's pretty boring. There's not much, like, to show. I'm just breaking blocks and dying all the time when I'm building the arena, so... Yeah. Butterfly dust. Is that better than our... 
Frozen wings? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look it up. All right, so apparently they are slightly better than our frozen wings, so we're going to have to farm out for some more souls of flight. But for now, let's just continue with our Plantera arena. All right, so here is the finished Plantera arena. As you can see, it's pretty much just a big box. We got a campfire, a heart lantern, and some banners. So we're not actually going to fight Plantera in this episode. We're going to leave that for next episode. But what I do want to do is check on our corruption. So let's see the progress. And we can farm for rotten chunks and bio mushrooms to make the Eater of Worlds summoner. So yeah, as you can see, we have our corruption now. So I'm going to farm out for the summoner and I'm also going to farm out for some souls of flight because I want to make the new butterfly wings. All right, so let's do it. Whoa, okay. We have killed every type of slime. Nice. That's a pretty nice achievement to get, to be honest. You know, these vile mushrooms take a long time to grow, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a Blood Moon. We are going to get the Money Trough and the Advanced Combat Techniques. We've been trying to get those two items for so long, but I think we should try to at least farm out for them. So I'm going to wait for the next night, and I'm going to do a Blood Moon. Oh, yes. Finally, advanced combat techniques. Let's use it. Thank you, Book, for empowering my villagers. All right. Let's go try and farm out for the money trough. Well, I guess we won't have a money trough in this series, but... Hey, another solar eclipse is happening. Um... Yeah, let's just do it. We might get another Broken Hero Sword and we can make the Terra Blade in this episode, but <laughs> I guess that'll make up for no money trough. Ooh, a Death Sickle. I'm really tempted to become a melee user or switch to the melee class, but I'm going to stick to being a Ranger until like maybe after we defeat Plantera or Golem. All right, so we didn't really get much other than the death sickle. We killed three Mothrons, but none of them dropped anything, so it's all right. Anyway, let's go check on our progress with our vile mushrooms. All right, and we have enough. Okay, so my inventory is such a mess. But, oh, let me go organize it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to craft the butterfly wings and we can make vile powder So we need 30 and now we need to go to a crimson altar and Make the worm food. So let's go do that All right, here we go worm food Now I want to reforge my butterfly wings and of course, there isn't enough villagers. You know what? I'll just take angry. I'll just take angry. I spent like half of my money on this. Like, what was it? Seven platinum? Come on. <laughs> All right. But let's go fight the Eater of Worlds. I don't know. It might be hard. I mean. <laughs> All right. Let's go summon it. Oh no! I'm so scared. Ah! This is this is so difficult. Oh wait, how did I lose like a quarter of my health? <laughs> Imagine if I actually did like lose this fight. Come on. Oh no! Wow. 
Now that, that was hard. <laughs> um, Worm Scarf versus Brain of Confusion. I'm gonna say it, I prefer the Brain of Confusion. I think the occasional dodge is more useful than flat out 17% damage reduction. All right, but we can now place down our Eater of Worlds trophy. Nice. All right, that is it for this episode. Next time, we are gonna fight Plantera, and I'm pretty excited for that. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. But for now, I will see you all next time. Bye.